Hello, it's me again with my strange forehead marking that has appeared since the last video. I have no idea what it is. Anyway, in today's video, we're going to get mail and calendar set up on Linux. We're going to be focusing on Google and Apple. So, you know, the Google services and Apple's iCloud, because those are the two most popular services that people use nowadays. If you use something else, drop me a comment and maybe I'll make a video about the particular service that you use. So, without any further ado, Let's get started. So here we are on the Fedora that I set up last time. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is decide which email client you want to use. Uh, there are various options on Linux and too many to cover in this video, but there are two that I would particularly recommend. Uh, so first is an email client called Geary. Okay, now this is a fairly simple email client. However, it does integrate very, very well with GNOME. So you'll have that nice uh, dark mode and integrations with the notification center and so on. I'm going to go ahead and install it so you can see what it looks like. Another email client I recommend is Thunderbird. Uh, yes, it's an old one and it's been there forever, but recently they've made a lot of improvements to it. Um, so especially when it comes to the user interface and functionality and so on. All right. So that's a really, really good idea. Now, the thing is, if you go to Thunderbird on Fedora Linux, okay, you can see here that it doesn't actually tell you the version details. And also, you're not downloading this from Flatpak, which is the official repository where Thunderbird publishes the update. This is the Fedora Flatpak. So what you want to do is get Thunderbird directly from Flathub. That's easy enough to do. Just open a browser and then go to flathub.org and search for Thunderbird. There we go. Now, what you'll want to do is make sure you have a, a recent version. You can see here at the time of this video, it's 115.1.0. It was released just five days ago. That's the one I want. So I'm going to click install here and then open the file. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and click install. Okay, so now with both email clients installed, it's time to start configuring our email and calendar accounts. So I'm going to start with Google since it's really, really easy. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to your settings, which will bring up the known settings panel. And then from settings, you'll want to go to online accounts. Now, as you can see from here, you can directly add several types of accounts, including Google, Microsoft, Microsoft Exchange and others. Obviously also Nextcloud. Maybe we'll get into that later in this series. So what you want to do is click on Google and then just sign in. You'll grant permissions. There's quite a lot of them, but you can trust GNOME. And then from here, you can choose what you want to sync with your system. So I definitely want mail and calendar in my case. I don't really care about contacts or photos or printers. Files might be a good idea to keep. So that's what I'm going to keep there in my system. So once I've done that, that automatically becomes part of GNOME accounts. So theoretically, if I open the Geary email client, it should already be there as an account in Geary. And as you can see here in Geary, my email account has come up. All right, and soon it will start to synchronize. There we go. Downloading the different emails in my account. All right, and that is all taken from the GNOME account manager. Okay, so it's pretty cool. You just configure your account once and applications with supported will automatically appear uh, in Geary and other supported applications. And one of those supported applications is the calendar, the GNOME calendar. So if I open up my calendar here, okay, you can see that I already start getting events from my Google Calendar. Okay, and if I go here to Calendars, you can see that if I go to Manage Calendars, there we go, see the calendars that I have on my Google account have automatically been synced. So if you're a Google user, this is extremely simple. All you need to do is configure your account once and your calendars and contacts will appear. Now, one of the applications that doesn't support this, however, is Thunderbird. So with Thunderbird, you're going to have to configure your email account separately. Thunderbird also has a calendar manager if you prefer to use that. 
So on opening Thunderbird, we can just enter our email address, type in our password, click continue. And as you can see, it automatically finds the settings. We'll click done. And we're asked to sign in with Google. And we'll give Thunderbird permissions. And once that's done, as you can see, I have my email account detected and we have address books and calendars. Okay. So I can say connect all calendars here and then I just click finish. And just like that, my emails, as you can see, start coming up. Okay. And if I go to the calendars tab in Thunderbird, again, you can see my calendars are here. So it doesn't integrate with GNOME, but it's still super easy to get your Google stuff on Thunderbird. So as you can see, setting up Google is easy enough. Now, iCloud, uh, can you access it on Linux? Yes. Is it easy? Uh, not as much as Apple could make it, but uh, yeah, there still is a way. So the first thing we'll need to do is generate an app specific password. Okay. You can't just log in using the password you use for your iCloud account. So first I'm going to go to iCloud.com. And then I'm going to sign in with my iCloud account. Okay, so once you're here, what you'll need to do is go to your account picture and click manage Apple ID. And this will bring you to the Apple ID management page where we can create our app specific password from down here, app specific passwords. Okay, so I'm going to click um, the plus icon here. And I'm going to say uh, Fedora on Linux VM or something like that. And I'll click create. Okay, then I'll have to type in my iCloud password again. And there we go. My app specific password is displayed. Keep this handy because you're going to need it. I'm just going to copy the password now. Okay, so now we can add our email account directly into GNOME. So to do this, you'll want to go to settings again. Now, as you can see from online accounts, there is no iCloud entry, unfortunately, but you can still get access to your email using IMAP and SMTP. So you will want to type your email address. That's your iCloud email address. And then you're asked for a password. So this is where you have to paste that app specific password I, we just created. Okay, so then just click forward. Now, as you can see, the IMAP server has been detected as imap.me.com. It's actually for iCloud, imap.mail.me.com. Now, another thing you'll want to do is to choose from here for encryption, SSL on a dedicated port. That's what you're going to need. And here, don't just put in your username. Make sure you also add at iCloud.com or whatever else you use, like me.com. Okay, so now we get to the outgoing server settings. Again, you'll need to change these to smtp.mail.me.com. Username and password stay the same. As for encryption, you can leave it the same. Start the LS after connect. There we go. And our email account has been set up now. Okie dokie. So now if we go back to Geary, we should find that the email address we've just added to GNOME accounts shows up in our email client. And as you can see here, it is. Okay. Of course, the emails are still syncing. All right. And so we'll give them a while to download my folders and stuff. But there you go. My email is right there. And there you go. Yes, my inbox drafts and all the other folders I have are here. So that's how you get iCloud mail in Geary. But what about Thunderbird? Well, let's see. So again, I'm going to go to Thunderbird and I'm going to click on this cogwheel icon here, account settings, account actions, add mail account. Now here, enter your full name, enter your email address and paste that one time password that we created earlier. Okay, as you can see, in this case, Thunderbird detects the settings automatically. So just click done and everything should be set up for you. Okay, so we'll click finish. And there we go. 
we have our email account in Thunderbird, and now we just have to give it a second like before to actually start downloading my messages. And there we go. As you can see, my messages have started to download. Now, if you want your iCloud calendars to show up in the calendar application on your system, GNOME calendar, basically, you can't just uh, add the account as we did. Since we had to add iCloud as IMAP, that's only mail. It doesn't do calendars. So if you go here in the calendars app and you click manage calendars, you'll see there's no iCloud calendars here whatsoever. The traditional solution to this has been to install another email client called Evolution that supports uh, CalDAV calendars, they're called, which will then add them to GNOME. Now, is this an elegant solution? Absolutely not. And whose fault is it? Plainly GNOME's, okay? They just haven't decided to support the option in GNOME calendar. That being said, there is a sneaky workaround that we can use, okay? Now, again, it would be ideal if we don't need this workaround, but that's not what GNOME has in mind. And to be fair, Apple could make it easier as well. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to this website. Link is down in the video description, okay? And this is basically um, a shim, kind of like a, a hack for the GNOME calendar so it can support CalDAV services. Okay, so it's actually quite easy to do, but if you've never used the terminal before, it, it can be quite difficult. So basically what you'll need to do here, you'll need to go and copy this installation link that you that is shown here. Now, please note, if you are using Apple Silicon, like an Apple M1 or M2 or whatever, uh, you don't, this is not the link you need because this is for Intel and AMD systems. So if you're using those, fine, go ahead. But in my case, I'll need to go to releases. And as you can see, there's the ARM version here. That's the one I need. So I'm going to just download this zip file. And if I go here uh, and click here, you can see that it's gone to my downloads folder. And here it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do is right click on this folder and click extract. And there we are. This is the program that we're going to need. Okay. So the next thing we'll need to do is right click in an empty space here and click open in terminal. So this opens the folder in the GNOME terminal. If I type ls, you can see that the two files are there, GNOME dev support and install.sh. So now what you'll want to do is type dot slash install.sh dash dash cal and then in inverted commas or quotation marks, https colon slash slash caldav dot icloud dot com and then dash dash card https colon slash slash contacts dot icloud dot com just like that okay press enter and there you go it has now created what it needs for known configuration okay the command will be down in the video description guys the next thing we'll need to do is type the following command systemctl dash dash user start gnome dev shim and then repeat the same command but rather than start this time type enable okay so we should be done from the terminal i'm gonna close it so now what we need to do is go into settings again And from settings, if you go to online accounts, you'll see that, well, there's nothing new here. Ah, but we have a little trick up our sleeve. Go to the next cloud entry. And for server type, HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8223. Okay. For your username, type your iCloud username. That's your full email address. And for your password, type that app-specific password we generated earlier, which I'm going to paste now. And here we are. GNOME settings thinks we're working with Nextcloud, but we're actually working with iCloud. So choose what you want to keep, calendar, contacts, files. In my case, I'm only really interested in the calendar. That's all I want. Okay. And that's it. So now let's see if it's worked. So I'm going to go to a new desktop actually and open up my calendar 
Now you will need to wait a few minutes, but after those few minutes, here we are. Gnome calendar is now displaying our iCloud calendars. And if I go to manage calendars here, you can see all of these calendars, which show localhost colon 8223 are actually our iCloud calendars. Pretty cool, huh? So there you have it. You now have Google Mail, Google Calendars, iCloud Mail, and iCloud Calendars working on your system. Now, to be fair, the iCloud Calendars thing could have been much easier. One, from Apple's part, because obviously they only want you to use Mail, Calendar, and all the other iCloud services from a Mac. So Apple can make this much, much easier. But also, GNOME can make this much, much easier. I mean, all they need to do is support... CalDAV URLs in, in GNOME Calendar, something that it used to do in previous versions of GNOME and something that's already been done for the Evolution Mail client that is part of GNOME and integrates with it. So I really can't figure out what the bloody delay is in getting this working. Anyway, so you now have Mail and Calendars. That's great, but services like iCloud offer much more than that. They offer reminders, notes, music, Find My, and all that other stuff. Can we get those working on Linux? Well, sort of. Yeah, we can. Uh, stick around for the next video where that's what I'm going to cover. So if you want to make sure you don't miss the video, please be sure to like and subscribe and maybe turn on notifications. It really does help the channel a lot. Until next time, thanks for watching.